IP. Yeah, I had him IP for him. I got Gary Trent Jr., three point champion. These weak ass awards. <laughs> <laughs> Houston Rockets. I had an all rookie defensive team for Tari Eason and Tari Eason. Most improved. All for rookie Jay- defensive team? Is that, that what you just said? Exist. Yep. He did say that. <laughs> You said all what? All, all rookie, rookie defensive, defensive team. team. I got to go what? home, bro. I got to go home, bro. Y'all niggas smoke all, some. Yo, all rookie defensive team is crazy. Y'all smoke some crazy weed before this. All, right? No, I got it for all rookie. Okay, no, got, that's uh, better. Most improved. Is taking good for the NBA? Ooh. That's kind of a sexy topic. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. You go first. I'm going to say yes. Taking... Can, I have no, no, no. Taking is not good for the NBA for multiple reasons. First, I'm going to start off with the viewership. We all know there's players in the league like Shea who's been hooping, hooping, hooping. But for some of the years, he can't even play half the season because his team wants to tank and get the, be- the best pick. Another reason why is because the viewership's already going down. We can't afford to keep, take, we can't afford to not play our product, right? That's why there's fans coming in. There's a fan out there. Never had a chance to go to an NBA game. He's been watching the Suns all his life since he's growing up. He finally gets a chance to go to a Suns game, and he can't watch Devin Booker because they're trying to get a pick. That it's just not. Don't sit right with me. I think the NBA has done a good <laughs> job of making sure that they listen to their fans and that they 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 listen to their fans and that they try to get the best product out there. Trying to get. I'm breaking down. <laughs> The main argument. I'm breaking down. 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 I'm Oh, I shit. I thought we were going to get some waterworks, bro. <laughs> oh, shit, bro. This nigga acting his ass off. You said that shit don't sit right on me. I couldn't How the hell that. you do so good in round one and now you just shit the bed in round two? That shit don't sit right on me. Because I said I had multiple views, I, I had like one, maybe two. <laughs> big, you only like big men. Just couldn't, couldn't find it. But no, no, I don't think I'm going to buy a shirt. A jersey, at least. I may buy a shirt. A shirt is different, but a jersey, nah. Hey, I came to the realization. We can end it off here, bro. I came to the realization yesterday. I was at the barber shop and I was getting my like my hair done, and I looked in the mirror and I was like, I look kind of like Donovan Mitchell. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. after at the year and a half of people telling you, <laughs> he finally realized yeah. it. Hey, man. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> no, because my shit had dropped on the floor. My sh- and uh, the people want this. The people all, hey, like every time I stream on Twitch. They be like, when y'all doing the after show? When y'all, and there's people in the comments like, they do for the last five minutes. They always do it, bro. Do you be watching? <laughs> and be like, bro, 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 don't, don't argue. I think he just want a full episode, so it feel good. I don't mean to start the shit off on a on a on a on a serious note. Mm-hmm. Well, I did a fucking twenty four hour stream on Saturday through <laughs> Sunday. Bro, you said fuck what he was about to talk about, huh? I didn't know. I didn't. I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't know. I just wanted to talk about. I just wanted to talk about what was on my mind. Because let's let's get the the somber story out of the way first, and then we gonna enjoy the rest. He did. after we talk about. Why did he like the tough say, stuff? Fuck me. Like, yeah. yeah, he said first I don't want to start off with bad stuff, so we won't. First of all, you talking like you never done this shit. And second of all, I was thinking of my own here. I wasn't really listening at the time. No, you good. So you don't be listening before you talk. Man, I'm tired too. I'm he could have said together, something bro. crazy, and you're like, "Well, well my 24 hours nah, I, just, <laughs> I just heard him say, "I don't want it to start it off on some." So I was just like, "Let's oh, talk about it." Let me pivot there. You know? Six old run, but you know like what? He was tired, and when you tired, you make a bad pass and lead to a Damian Lillard three. Yeah, it's the first. And when you tired, you get think you got an easy fast break layup, and you think it's a practice drill, and wow, it's game seven. It's game seven. Team on paper and uh, result wise, they've had a solid team. Brandon yeah. Ingram. I mean, uh, those games have been close for them. Like, yeah, they, they, they just moves. haven't been able to close it out. Brandon Ingram is playing out of his ass. But uh, like, out of his what? He's playing out of, out of his ass, out of his mind. Okay. Whatever you want to say, <laughs> whatever, however it goes. Out of his mind. Out of his mind. He's a bit, he's a bit <laughs> better. Also, another thing about the Lakers is, too, though, that like Magic Johnson said, it's a two summer process. So if LeBron does go by himself this year, you still have next year. That's why I, I keep thinking to myself, like, I don't know. I'm gonna go on for the tangible. Like during when the world was created, the universe created. Like 
basically the planet. Yeah, I know. I'm like, you know, it's though. an accretion period. Basically, like everything was in chaos, <laughs> but eventually everything turns out fine in a couple of years. That's what I'm thinking with the Lakers seem like. Well, yeah, so you just compare the yeah, Lakers to just like the yeah, Lakers, the accretion period. For those who don't know, Google it. Y'all can go through that. Yeah, say, yeah. do it again. Please. Stay off the weed. Like Bealitz sent a first round for Kuzma. That's such a good trade for y'all. I don't really think. Bealitz is so. so good. Are you kidding me? He's he better than Cal Kuzma. He can shoot the three. And he can handle the ball. Yes, he's <laughs> he's an underrated playmaker. <laughs> I don't know. I think he's better. He's, he, he's, 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 at would, this point, he's better than Cal Kuzma. Now, yeah. I can understand you saying you want to keep the youth, sure, whatever. And I a first round it, pick, that's a yes. Yeah, I just don't think his ceiling is putting us over like... Yeah, to but top it all. I don't we're, think y'all relying on his ceiling. No, yeah, no, we're not. We're not, not, we're not talking about his ceiling. I'd rather rely on he has a high floor. Tune in there, but I'm pretty sure I know, I know who Bealitz is, and unless he's really you must killing this game, because <laughs> defense, 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 he, he not like all that. So, so is Kuzma. So <laughs> not, so not, we, we, trade, we just gonna trade it for a better shooter. If he don't, if he not shooting you're the ball, trade, well, then what's happening? You're getting a better offensive. Nothing. You're getting a better offensive player. Maybe he not doing nothing. But that's the same thing for Kuzma. But you're just getting a better version of it. I don't think he's a better version. No, you're not only not getting a better version. You're getting now, a first that's round Laker pick. bias right there. <laughs> and you're getting a first-round pick from the You're getting Kings? a first-round pick from the I'd Kings. Rather, I'd rather definitely wait to see. I'd wait on that trade. Wait on that trade. Yeah, that's that Laker bias, That's Laker bro. bias, bro. Yeah, but he's not, I don't see him coming to the Lakers and doing all that. But you're not going to get that for Kuzma for anybody. Yes, bro. That's what the, the fuck thing. Are you, 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 have, you have, we don't know that. We Yes, we do. <laughs> I am telling you so this. If he steps up later in the second half season, then he can't do it then. What? What? What I'm saying is... If in the second half, and he starts playing better, then I think that he could definitely. What does what does LeBron need to be successful? Shooters around him. a forty three point five percent shooter. Forty three point five, and Cal Kuzma is giving you thirty three percent from three. He is undoubtedly a better player than Cal Kuzma at this point. Undoubtedly, it's not even a, really a question. For LeBron, for LeBron, for hey, LeBron. I can't do it. But LeBron. I know it don't make it's sense. Just why he's not bringing us over the top. Like he's not somebody that's amazing. So why? But why, neither is he. Why he get rid of Kuzma, who's also a young player, though. Y'all not, y'all not looking for the future. We not, but he could be a part of the pre- the present and the future. Well, we're telling you I, I in the tell. in the present today, be is a better basketball player, I, I, and your goal is to win a championship soon. Right. I, I mean, to be honest, in, in you can't have honestly, everything. I, we have enough right now. You can't have everything. We can't. You can't have everything. We can't but have you, okay, so you, with the stuff you either want to win now or you want to win in the future. I, I hate the I'm teams that right are now. like, that's like the nuggets shit. the stuff we have right <laughs> now. It's like we want to keep with all of our young assets, right but Would win you now. Think, how, much of a, how much do you consider us a favorite to win? You are, you guys are, you and the Bucks are the, the favorites to win the championship. Right. If B. Alyssa was there. It just I mean, makes it a little bit higher. Team? It makes it higher. That that little bit higher, it don't mean, you know. But it could, that little bit could be the point. So improving, when is improving bad? Oh shit. Oh, shit. Uh, who says we improve? <laughs> 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 it's possible the numbers, come, bro. It's possible you come here and it's just not the same, man. You, We've you seen people sound so biased. You're really biased. You this, this, I'm, not yourself, B, I'm not trusting Bealist. I'm not trusting Bealist. Would you <laughs> trust Cal Kuzma? This dude is a 10% more three point shooter. 10%. I'm not trusting, I'm not trusting him, man. I don't care. Bro, this is an all-time biased moment on this show. Y'all can call me by I really don't care, man. I, I do not see that value like, in that trade. I'm not taking You literally... 76ers, who are also in the East. Um, that just says a lot about them. Yep. Mike. Who's your guy? <laughs> oh, oh, I had, for my fourth pick, I had put Jokic in that conversation. I mean, yeah, I mean, last thing, too, is the first thing I think about is not even just me. Because first of all, I'm vaccinated. But second, second I think I hope you got the right shit. <laughs> I hope you ain't getting no. But I think about my sister can still catch it. Gazizer. She's not young. She's you ain't getting no Gazizer shot. shot, did you? Right, facts. You ain't getting no Gazizer shot, did you? You got <laughs> no, the Pfizer. No, right I got here. my shot before you. Uh-oh. You did. Uh-oh. So I mean, but you've vaxxed. You asked me like six times what my shot was before I got it. I never asked you what your shot was. No, that was my dad was asking me. Oh, okay. I am your dad. So you. But again, man, I. You know, for the Dragon Ball Z fans out there, I think next season will be a lot better. Hopefully, fucking LeBron James and Anthony Davis. That's where the Dragon Ball Z reference comes okay, in. I see how confused, but yeah, they, get in the, they get in the little healing chambers where, you know, they just fucking sit in there. That's how Goku and Vegeta used to get healed up real quick. They used to be in the little healing chambers. They in there for the off season. On the basketball, that shit is like, you kind of realize how much you damn near are Alanis at this point. You hear Alanis. somebody to- <laughs> Alanis. 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 <laughs> Alanis.
Is I think <laughs> nah analyst though. But uh you kind of they yeah, we, Al Horford off the dribble, step back three for game, over Okay, rank, so it sounds like it. it sound like P would be a good play by play right there. So that's y'all booth. Me and Mike Booth would be flared. <laughs> <laughs> we just be we just be complimenting all the dudes that play the game y'all the right the, way. Y'all gonna do the kiss cam every game. <laughs> <laughs> and check and check it into the game. Alice Caruso, the yo color commentary is what? I'm, that white motherfucker can ball. <laughs> y'all don't last. A, y'all didn't last a tip off. <laughs> don't say y'all. I still got my job. <laughs> I still got my. You crazy? Be, nah, Did you just call be, him that white motherfucker? <laughs> <laughs> I was setting you up to say I love that guy. He just, just plays, plays the, the game, game the right way. way. <laughs> that was why I set you oh up. Oh my god! <laughs> I need. I need just need to start saying that shit so it's a staple in my brain. <laughs> oh man! Black movies have you seen? We was gonna test theirs. I'm gonna just start off with the top, the, the first five, real quick. And don't be lying on no on no shit, yeah, bro. Don't just be lying, be, keep, bro. Keep it a buck. Keep it a buck. Boys in the hood. Yes. Who's the name of the main character? I'm not gonna do all that. I've seen the movie, bro. Can I've you give me any, one name of any character? No. It's been so long. I, that, those type of movies, I need to refresh. But I know as a kid growing up, I've watched it. Who played in it? Can you tell me something? Do you know anything about the plot? Any any specific one scene? point, just one word, one name. Is there Martin Lawrence in there? No, <laughs> no, he's not. <laughs> I know he's not in there. No, <laughs> pretty sure Ice Cube is in it. Yes, yes. <laughs> and that's why we say don't be lying and just saying yeah. Yo ass would have to get up and take that jump shot for that, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Next movie, man. Next movie. I couldn't even imagine Martin Lawrence being in that. Yeah, that's a serious movie, by the way. Yeah, we, his little funny ass gonna be around. We're not doing no episodes in that studio. The first thing we do in that studio is you're watching Boys in the Hood, my friend. You <laughs> need your ass with, with a, a, a warm belt. Juice. Seen that shit a long time ago. I don't remember. Say nothing else, Mike. Juice. I don't remember. Okay. <laughs> Mike, can you name me one actor in Juice? You ain't seen the shit. You didn't see it, bro. bro I've seen sorry. that shit a lot, bro. I've seen that shit a lot. I don't care. And also, I haven't seen actor, it recently bro. either. I'm it's not fucking. An actor person it's either. Tupac. Not an actor it's person. not. It's Tupac, bro. Oh, <laughs> oh, if it was a live show, we would say it's a live show, but right. it's not a live show. Right. <laughs> and then I. Look. <laughs> we gotta restart. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck was that? Oh my god, this nigga. I'm saving this audio. I'm saving this audio, bro. I'm saving this audio, bro. I know you can't eat pussy. Bro, this tongue just got so much. What the fuck was he trying to say, my guy? He even seen Zone Stone. Brandon Ingram should be taking the shots. Uh oh, did we lose Mike? Yeah, Mike just lagged out. Uh Okay. Well, he got the invitation to get back in. Let's talk about the Knicks. Uh, because the Knicks are good, P. What's up, man? I see see this is this is what happens, man. I would expect you, because me and you have been in this this realm of really bad teams, right? Our team is oh, bad teams for some. now. Like we used to never see teams run zone. I just freeze. You know? <laughs> oh, oh my god. That's so weird that he just came back like that. Um, and then he's frozen again. Oh, he's back. I don't know what's going on, y'all. We apologize for the technical difficulties. This is what happens when you work remotely. This is this is just what happens. Are you – what the – f- we, got, we got two mics. What the hell? Okay, okay. Oh, there you go. There you go. There you go. The other mic left. That's my kid. That's my kid. Right, right, right. Running the points right now. Minnesota Timberwolves. <laughs> uh, are you serious with that? Do you know who's on that <laughs> roster? <laughs> I couldn't tell you. <laughs> Let me look at their roster. No. 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 The what? superstar? No. Cat? Yes. What the hell? Why are you overthinking it? They, they, they had a what? terrible season. I, Why I did you still head? overthinking it, though? Why? Cat has still been great. The Hawks had a terrible season, too. It's still with Trey Young. Wait, why did you give him a hit? <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> right. five, is, five is Atlanta, and they're still like five games ahead of us. So right now, we're like locked into the fourth best odds, which is still 12%. Against fourteen yeah. percent. We all gonna name a team that's ahead of y'all. So this is only three. Mm-hmm. Knicks. Knicks are one. I I know one other one, for sure. The bottom teams in the league. Come on. Well, the Nets. 
The, no, what, like, the Mets are in the, the playoffs the, right now. I don't know. <laughs> I'm in the above. The Suns. The Suns. Oh, yeah. the bottom. Okay, I'm just thinking in the East. <laughs> Wait, what? Know. That still don't make sense. I was just thinking the teams ahead of the Bulls in the East, but no, no, we're talking below. The the, this is Suns, the Cavs, and the okay, the Cavs. The what the fuck? What's the that? The Nets. The Nets are <laughs> making a playoff run. It was six seed. <laughs> oh my god, the PCP is. Anyway, the relapse. point. The point. You do be shooting without a giving bit, a fuck. A I need bit more playmaking. But I need you psych. To play, he been playmaking with the Pacers. <laughs> this ass have got no fucking playmaking. I do. You making a chess pass is not playmaking, nigga. I be making some, bro. I be making a lot of solid passes. Is he a playmaker, to y'all? Not a playmaker, but I, def- but I could definitely. You pass just said the ball. not a playmaker, and then you just argue with him that you are a playmaker. <laughs> Let's go back to that KD shit. <laughs> I was thinking about I, that too. I'm not no. Pro, I'm not gonna be distributing for the whole team, but if somebody is secondary helper, somebody's open, I can definitely hit you. That's, if somebody that's, is that's open, a, that's, that's a chess that's pass. If somebody's open, if Pierre's open, I can pass him the ball, but I'm not a playmaker. Playmaker is like, all right, I'm gonna ball. get this dude open. I could, I could do that. So, so if you, if Derek cut back door, you throwing a pinpoint pass to Derek I on the back yeah, door. Yeah, I can cut him on him. He be fucking rolling, and I, I be telling him to roll more so I can pass on the ball. I, I think, think Buddy Hill's a good comparison because y'all both aren't playmakers. I think, I think Mike can make passes and solid reads, but yeah, I, don't, I wouldn't classify him as a playmaker. But Me too. I, I'm not I, saying I that like, you ass at like it. Play, I do like the... Uh, what the I'm saying is I could come up with the ball and I can make a play for myself But you just or said you're not person. a playmaker. So what you arguing against? Because I'm not like one of the motherfuckers that's like... Oh, We're not saying that you're the worst in the gym. We're not saying that either. We're just saying that you're not a playmaker. I'm solid at pass and I'll say that. Okay. I'm, I'm a pretty solid pass. He just argued to say he's not a playmaker. Yeah. Okay, we'll take that. We got two different definitions. No, I think his definition of so, creating somebody open was correct. Are you saying that ninety percent of the NBA is playmakers? Then, no. By your definition, no. Because it's not a player in the NBA that can't hit somebody back door or make the the read. That's a fa- that's true. Mm. But, but it, there's players that are playmakers. I and it's say, also niggas who get high assist numbers make, who ain't playmakers. I can probably I can make more passes than I would say the average person would. That's, but that's not the question. The question is, are you a playmaker? You're doing all these variables. Variables. I, I would I wouldn't class myself as a playmaker. Are you a playmaker? Yes or no? I just said I wouldn't. No. But why you? Oh, thank you. Because <laughs> that classified me. I'm not. No, I want to hear you say no. My point is, I want to hear you say no. It's a simple question that you just was not trying but to say I, no. But to. I can play. I have the ability to play mate. Mike. <laughs> Mike, it's okay, bro. We just said you can make passes. Nobody's expecting you to come down the court and not be able to make a nah, pass. Yeah, can you I'm make the no right read and, and, and throw a pass? For sure. But we, you, nobody joins a Mike Hurt team thinking he's, he's about to play make for play. us. Yes. yes. I do a little bit of Ed thing. Okay. Except for defense, I guess. No, I play a little bit. I you just you said six minutes ago that you're a bad defender. You but I still play defense. You you it's it. bad defenders that play defense. Okay. You're right. You're, so, right. Oh, you're, you're, you're right. 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 When I be saying yeah, I'm a bad defender, very, very I can't play me. Uh, <laughs> I can dunk if they lower the rim. <laughs> yeah, I so can. So, uh, by your standard, is anybody here not a playmaker? D Mills. But like, I wouldn't classify you as a. You can make passes. I know I I'm not a playmaker. A playmaker either, so, bro. me and you are similar then. No, I was. I'm a better playmaker than you. But neither of us are playmakers. That's like, like saying who's the smallest midget. <laughs> who's the tallest midget? I'm a taller midget than you, KB. That's what you just said. He he said we both, by your definition, we both not playmakers. You say yeah, but I make better plays than you. That's mm-hmm. like saying we but both he, midgets, but he's but probably I'm trying to like because he he was saying the same thing. He can, he can make dumb you, passes. He can make right reads and make a play for somebody else. See, I would say I, I'm probably more like I'm I'm pretty good at beating one person. So I usually get you know a help defender. I'm really good at making like secondary reads or stuff like that. And that's why I said like I can beat my dude one on one, whether it's dribbling or off dribble threat. And then I can make a play for somebody else. Whether it's I, I've hit KB so many fucking times, and he's wide open in the corner for a nice ass pass. But that goes to his point. He mm-hmm. he's saying if he passed it to an open guy in the corner, mm-hmm. that ain't making a play. That's just you made the pass. No, but I, I'm talking about like I went up for a layup, came around, passed it to him in the corner. Oh shit, and I stuff like that. I've, I seen I this swear shit. to God, Mike that went shit up happened. And did that. I had a crazy pass to KB in the corner. I remember he missed it. And I'm saying like, but fuck same, you, nigga. No, I'm, I'm, I'm being that ass though. But that's just saying I feel like I play make more than others. So you got that? You not, got that one memory? No, I'm just saying that's okay. that was probably the last time we hooped. Damn. But more I'll times than not, he said a lot of times more than I. 
<laughs> I'm usually playmaking for myself or uh, others rather than people are just doing for me. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. know that, right? Of course. We've played a lot of one on ones. We've played basketball since eighth grade. Mm. That's and you've beat them more times than not, be honest. Who's won probably. majority of them? I would say I, I probably, probably won. Be me. Yeah. He should be beating me. Oh, now, oh. now, now he just should be beating you. You, you can't. You, I just, I don't like the way that is, bro. I'm afraid. Okay. Early on in my days, he should have been beating. No, me. there ain't no should. When I was in there high school, no I should. sucked. There ain't no should. There ain't no should. I literally no sucked in high school. Chris starts here. Mike, you are debating for LeBron. <laughs> All right, you are debating for. Kevin Durant, here it is. Take a minute is added to the clock. You can start right now. I it the greatest person to ever damn touch a ball is LeBron James. Dude has been to ten straight finals. People couldn't even sniff one finals in their damn NBA career. This dude at this time is still the best player in the league at age thirty-seven years old. Still aging with fine wine. Don't act like before he got hurt, the man wasn't still putting up. His best three-point shooting numbers. He had to unload the the shot for y'all because y'all thought he could only attack the basket. And he's still doing that too. He said, "I'm not taking no load management off. I don't care if I just won a championship, but they want to start the season up three seasons or three months later. I'm still ready to go." He's looking like he's about to come back and, and still take over the league, man. Uh, you talking about a dude that literally has been in every spot that a player could dream of. I, I couldn't even I couldn't even do this shit. What? <laughs> like, it, it, I don't know, bro. It, it, it'd be hard to kind of like keep track of where you all going with this shit. What? Bro. You have you the greatest. Like you have obviously one of the the greatest player of all time. You like I can't even make an argument for. <laughs> and now I can't make your argument. That's too much shit to say. Well, I'm gonna be honest with you. You gave us a minute of nothing. You just I was so for to say this would be an easy one. I'm ready with y'all. All right, starting Pierre in three, two, one, go. Russell Westbrook was Time. still Russell Westbrook. Mike, you got a 30 second rebuttal. Do you want to use it or or? No, I do. <laughs> All right, it's starting. Why... Wait, 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 wait. Three, two, one, go. It's the reason why Kevin Durant has always been number two. It's because one man can always do it better. I don't care how good of a, a score Kevin Durant is. His ass don't. Can't finish the damn job. He got to the finals, lost to LeBron. Can't finish the job against Golden State. Was up 3-1 and lost to them. LeBron James is a dude, when it's time to get down to business, you're not beating him unless your ass got a damn 70, unless you got a damn team that's winning a, a dynasty. One that's got damn three all-stars on the team. No. Pierre. I got to go Pierre. He ain't even rebutted yet. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you even have to. Derek already gave you his vote without hearing your second argument. <laughs> All right, Derek, do your do your vote still stands? Yeah, Mike's rebuttal was pretty bad. <laughs> this is the original debate. But you know what? I think Mike's rebuttal was better than his whole first minute. I, I, tell I you. think so, yeah, too. It was. Yeah. And I think it's because y'all said something. If, if nobody said nothing and we just pretended like it wasn't shit. <laughs> He probably would, but yeah, that first shit for you to have LeBron in the last yeah. ten seconds, you like shit. I already, I already was know. <laughs> that was wild. You damn near fucked my shit up. I was, I was game planning to have to say a lot of different things, and you was like, oh no. Like, what the fuck? And off the flash should be hurting me, bro. I, it's I it is play. tough. It is tough. But you, you had tough. LeBron though. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's you you did a better job of fucking Drew Holiday than LeBron, bro. That is crazy. That's that's crazy. Uh, my vote also goes for Pierre. Um, simple. Uh, damn. Now LeBron's off the list. Nobody will be able to debate LeBron anymore. Mike, you fucked up LeBron. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think we should just get right to the nitty gritty. I, I think so, too. Um, so y'all going to just say forget about the comments. We'll come back to the comments in a little bit. Who is the GOAT? Michael Jordan or LeBron James and why? I mean, it's obviously LeBron James. Michael Jordan mm -hmm. had to take a damn break. Mm -hmm. he, I mean, he went perfect, but if he played no matter three years, he skipped on the opportunity to miss. So it's yeah. got to be LeBron James, man. I think that's Cap, bro. That is a, that I, is a very disgusting ass take, Mike. <laughs> like that reasoning was. I, I thought you was. Bro, 
Well, well, no, I'm talking about dead ass though. Dead ass. When you're talking about just like how long they played, LeBron James has played what, 18 years, bro. He's played them to every damn postseason and oh, first 10 straight years got to the finals. That's like another three, four seasons added onto that man's body, still playing at the highest level anybody could imagine. So, hey, hey that's. That's that's the goat right there. That's a better take than what you first said. You said MJ had to take a break. <laughs> Time out. <laughs> Y'all know I did I did this for a meme, and this man Mike really came prepared. <laughs> no, for no, it. I, I just I did that shit at the top. Underrated. And I think we said this on the show too, low key, when this trade happened. We was like, Y'all the fans of this team need to appreciate this player because he played for a shitty team for the last couple of years. So people don't really know he's nice, but he's actually really nice. That mean oh Wayne Ellington. Not Wayne Ellington. Uh, no, uh think it too hard. <laughs> big big player. Big big wing slash small ball center. Can pass, can shoot a little bit. Good, um, good defender, passing lanes, deflections, steals. Seckle? No. What? We muted your mic. You can't, <laughs> you can't talk for the next two minutes. <laughs> what? I just think this is a good team. He's the on, most he's underrated this. acquisition in you gonna say Seckle? Seckle? <laughs> who's damn near 18 years old and this team gave up on him already <laughs> yo ass is crazy he is crazy speaking of Cal Lowry what, apparently that Pat Cal called Nick Nurse he ain't say, apparently he ain't say hey Nick Nurse <laughs> <laughs> was that was that tweet by Joel B where he had the eyes emoji and that little peach that was for Cal Lowry that was not Joel B. that was a troll <laughs> I don't know. Troll accounts be getting my you got caught up. Yeah, you bro. Got caught up. Mike tweeted me during the deadline and said, "Hey, AP, you know, sorry about it, but you is getting THC." I'm like, "What the fuck are you talking about?" <laughs> <laughs> if I click, my fuck say Adrian Wojnarowski, but then the ad says like booty shaking three thousand. Like, like, Come on, bro. Hey, I, I tried to hurry up and say fake. All I said in all cap was a fake, so he can just delete, but it was too late. My phone was already on his ass. What, okay, what was the fake trade, though? Because I didn't see that. It was like the, the Knicks Jared trade here Rose for Rose the Lakers. <laughs> oh, yeah. And Mike was happy as hell about that. Huh? <laughs> and, and Mike, as a basketball podcaster, should know Tom Thibodeau didn't just get Derrick Rose to trade him. for. And they couldn't. Him. He just got there. Like, he, there's like, a... like... Literally, yeah. Like, what the fuck, Mike? No, I was in, I was in the party with Mike for most of the deadline, and you just the weirdest NBA fan, bro. Because like P said earlier, everybody is refreshing, just waiting for new trades. I would be like, damn, Aaron Gordon got traded. And it happened like three minutes ago, and Mike would be like, to who? How do f- how are you not got the <laughs> notifications on of Wolves, bro? How? I do. My got, I didn't average two points in the NBA. Yeah. And and Frankie Lakina's minutes, though. We're not giving you 48 minutes. <laughs> yeah. Two points, minutes? that's one bucket. So Ooh, you think if they Frank. gave you nine minutes to play an NBA game per, you would average 2.7? Her, right? We yeah, not saying one time, a... motherfucker. He didn't no, one you're not going to. I'm saying one you, bucket. How many minutes per game do you need to average two point seven points per game? You know what, fucker? I'm taking. I'm taking the nine. I'm taking the nine so minutes. You would sc- I'm taking the nine. I'm scoring more than Frank Nilakina if they give me that time. <laughs> That's crazy. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm getting that corner shot, I'm knocking that shit down. I'm knocking that shit down. Okay. Dope. We'll just let you think that. Yeah, he was terrible. He was terrible. Was the whole terrible thing. The whole you need a redemption day. tour, my do, boy, because you was bad. You had LeBron, had LeBron and, and got lost. Washed. Who would like, I have? KD. KD. It didn't even yeah. matter. He didn't even get to one minute worth of LeBron compliments. He's, He's like, like, I can't like, even do this. It's shit, LeBron. Man. <laughs> I can't even do He's this. Like, it's LeBron. You think you can do it now? Yeah. Give me one minute of why LeBron is the greatest player in the NBA, even if you don't believe it. Give make the argument. He's fucking the size of a truck. Arguably should have won Defensive Player of the Year over Marcus Saul back in the <laughs> day. That was, that was a terrible. decade ago. That was a, that was a 2012. We are in 2022. You're off to a terrible okay, stuff. keep going. Man is being as efficient as he can this year, shooting the three ball very well. He's f- playing the fucking center, which he wouldn't expect a man that's 37 years old to do. Out of all the three superstars, he's playing the best. Uh, oh, three, three superstars. All the three, the three top players on the okay. team. He, he's playing the best. <laughs> Uh, even with all the scoring he's doing this year, still getting his team invo- involved too, getting players like Malik Monk, Carmelo involved. Uh, he's going to be able to make some moves too. Okay, that's your minute. I would say you got a C-. minus. 
Hey. I would not be surprised the Lakers. Too. Before we wrap this up, though, he said he wanted to find a way to make a bet with you. The Lakers are playing, the Warriors. Are, I think y'all make a bet in front of this beautiful live crowd. So we can we can go we wins. Coworkers. We can go spread. We can go nice total survive. points. The sun is setting. We get some shade. I want to get you in a position for you to feel confident and me to crush your heart with this bet. Under over points on the duos. Right, we could do we could do I, something. I like know? the duo points. Okay. I like the duo points. Wait, Who's the Warriors? That's duo? what I say. Duo. That's, that's, okay. You that have to bullshit. put together. We got that's our duo. You got so I'm, I got Steph Curry duo. plus anybody. That's yeah. bullshit. Yeah, Pick Draymond though for me. You got Jordan Poole, Clay Thompson. Definitely Jordan Poole. No, because if y'all score 100 points, 80 of those is y'all duo. That's how bad the roster is. So right. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not accepting that bet. Give me. Give me a different one. Give me a different one. When we just lose, I know he don't want to go. He's not going with low. He don't feel his team sucks. This team is bad. Oh, my. We can go win-loss, man. We, we can go, go win-loss. Loss. Win loss. Okay. Damn, it's hurting you to say that. It, right? And then the loser has to do something on our road trip. I don't know what it is. At where? Oh, shit. On our, we're on our road trip. Oh, we're okay. on a five-day road trip from here to Los Angeles. You got to take straight paintballs to the back. You some back shot? Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. that, that don't do that. Don't do that. It's up to, would you don't be do down to do that? He's, he's speaking as a guy that never got hit by a paintball before. I've never been hit either, so I don't, don't know. Do I'm good on it. I'm no, good okay. Don't do it. Don't do it. That's just stupid. Please. You just reminded this me of my of our bet. I need 15 push-ups. Oh. <laughs> I need 15 push-ups. <laughs> Give me the mic, sir. Give Mike me the mic. push-ups. You finna have to do those in the heat of the San Francisco. Ooh, oh, he's shit. He's breaking the cell. It's over with. <laughs> <laughs> you got to go right here, bro. You go right here. It's right. over with, ladies and gentlemen. There's so much space right here. All right, it's fine. It's That's fine. fine. Y'all got me about to hurt myself up here. <laughs> hurt yourself and everybody else. Yeah. That you knew that you were going to end up in Chicago, or was it like, I got the hat on for the Cavs? And trivia. Then, oh. Trivia. Ooh. You're a Laker fan. Mm. Who is he traded he's for? He's not going to know. I'm There's, not going to know. He's not going to know. I'm not He's getting know. makeup twice in the back. He's not knowing what's going on. <laughs> he doesn't. The makeup is not that big of a deal, man. Oh, my God. You look Don't good. rub it off. Don't Thank rub it you. off. Thank you. You look good. Thank you. Yeah. Chris Mim. Chris Mim. Yeah. Former Lakers center. Or you wasn't a Lakers you fan. Said who? Chris Mim. Oh, yeah. I know who that is. Yeah. That's, who, that's who was a part yeah, of the yeah, deal. Yeah, there you go. Okay. He don't know who that is. But Mike, I'm going to give you the opportunity to go ahead and bring up the Lakers, because I know you, it's, it's just inside of you. Just the first game was awful. <laughs> hold, hold on, Mike, not to cut you off. Who's the biggest Laker fan in here? Mm. Oh, Yo, I don't know. I can't tell. Like, it doesn't, like, no, no. I want to <laughs> hear from somebody that can kind of help convince us why the Lakers are going to be good this year. Please, is there one Laker please, fan in like, here? Are you not the biggest Laker fan in here? My, my best 10 moves I've never shown before. Nah, I, like, I, I was this, thinking drop one a month on YouTube. No, no, no. no, no, no. Don't drop it. Just it's come everywhere. on our YouTube. <laughs> and drop it. <laughs> and, and do them there. there and we'll try to replicate them. That's a whole YouTube thing right there. Tell it, he could do the shake and bake. Oh, I can. <laughs> I can. We got a basketball in here? Uh-oh. I don't got my I don't the, got my right attire no, on. I don't no, got my no, right attire. Right no, on. real hoopers, real hoopers can go whenever. Mm. What a ball, that man. No. <laughs> we ain't got one. We I don't got think we got one. Damn. <laughs> now the show starts because I'm walking in just to give myself confidence going in the game. Well, we got a basketball, Mike. Uh oh, dang, Mike, Mike you right? didn't think they was gonna oh, find no basketball. It is. Not here. They went to the store for it. <laughs> hey, you guys tell us if he does the shake and bake wrong. He got some Jordans on. Let's see, let's see if he matches his. Hey, oh, man. Don't, don't, don't talk about it if you ain't about it. Are you going to do it with a mic? No, what happened? No. Please do not do it with the mic. Please. <laughs> yeah, oh, no, no. I was, about to, I was about to hand it to him. I was about to hand it to him. Now, we did a live show the day I saw you in the hotel. Mm -hmm. We did one in San Francisco. He owes me push-ups. Because we make bets. So is it sit-ups this time? We'll see. I'll, I'll oh, get him 15. On One. All right, Mike. Two. 15. Three. I need 15. Four. Is he going to make it? Five. He of the San Francisco. Ooh. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. He's breaking the cell. He's oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Okay. Nine. Uh, oh, Ten. The second Nine. layer. Yep. Push through. Push through. Push through. Up. He's creasing them J's, though. <laughs> Thank oh, you, give sir. Him, give, us, give him a round of yeah. applause. Oh, my right God. Here. Quick 15. But now, this is the real challenge. Boom. Yeah, yeah, look clumsy. That was, that was my story for y'all. He was supposed to do the push-ups. He kicking shit all over the place. Hey, all right, let's He's see He's here. If you I'll tell you if it's approval, right or wrong. It might not look as crisp as it used to, but it's still there. Let me see it. It's still there. Let us see it. Mike, do not. They need this set after we done. Do hey, not break nothing. Don't break row, nothing. Man. Nobody in it. 
Okay, okay. Great little team. Hey. If I had some more space, oh, man, we going viral. I yeah. might have shook somebody and made them fall. Oh, it, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Somebody would have took that from you. I'm sorry. Did that look like the shake and bake, y'all? I don't know. I haven't seen it with another all star in the backcourt with him. Right. But, but you have a basketball mind. Or should, you, or should we just kick you off the hey, hey, Do hey, Donovan Mitchell Mike. giving you 26, 5, and 4 with another all star. Like, come on, Mike. He got he another all star in his backcourt. He, he got he another all star that's not. Credential. What you no 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 no? What are you about to say bad about Mike Conley? Because we won't take he's that slip. Now that's definitely giving that month. He's passing that pill over the. He's still an all star though. <laughs> ben Simmons is an all star. He ever seven. He's, he's an all star, like you said. I, my famous story is the last person that graduated at the bottom of that class in doctor school, medical school, medical school. They still a doctor, so all star still all star. I get what you're saying, but. <laughs> it's, it's, he just tried know, to give some like real, like serious analysis. This shit's be bad. This is my thing about Mike. I don't know what to No, 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 no. Top of the class in the bro. I'm with Mike. I'm with Mike. I understand. I understand it. All he had to say was an all star, than all star. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, he went all around. Exactly. Just to say, what age we at, bro? Just like, just like, just like McDonald's. <laughs> that, that one was bad, bro. I, I actually thought about what that was. I still like, don't understand what you were trying to say for that First one. Of all, I, I said don't understand. Five shifts for two hundred dollars. I'm not doing. I'm not doing. They're doing five two shifts, shifts for first game. He was not afraid to shoot that pill. Hey, I don't blame him. He got his first opportunity. He got to go out there and leave with a bang. I don't know, bro. Because it's a ten day. You don't want to go out there and just be. He shot like thirty percent. It's a ten day. If I got a ten day, and I get some PT. I'm chucking. Then you're not gonna get that second ten day. <laughs> That's fine. No. <laughs> not for a guy like Isaiah Thomas no, no, that no, wants no, to I'm play. Like, I'm talking about like for us, like that that's a lot of money. Oh, facts. No, facts. We'll take that any day. Any day. Give me a 10 day to sit on the bench. I don't even want PT. Just give me the quick 10 day. Is that the equivalent to like shit, you taking five shifts at McDonald's for like two hundred dollars? I don't know. You you taking shifts at McDonald's for an awesome amount of money? No, I because Mike don't. I don't know what the fuck Mike be talking. About. <laughs> uh, let's go. Mike go first. Oh, you have. You Udoka. Oh, why, why did you say Taylor Jenkins? My fault. <laughs> uh, the reason Ime Udoka is coach of the year is because his team has been so, so successful, um, especially over these last few months. After they had a super rocky start, they had a lot of injuries and uh, just a lot of stuff happening with COVID that kind of held them back. But they were able to get back onto rhythm once they kind of got healthy. A lot of that is just also. I feel like he's kind of like. He's got them really bought in defensively, and that's what really sparks him. I think a lot of it started also with Marcus Smart. He got Marcus Smart into the right mode. Marcus, he really started off just, like, shooting poorly. I feel like he didn't know whether, like, his night was shooting or passing, but I don't know. Somehow he's just kind of turned it around. Uh, a lot. Of, another credit is just to Jalen Brown. Jalen Brown's been missing a lot of games just for whatever injuries and all that stuff, but every time he comes back, <clears throat> he's always got a – I don't know. He he just gets his players in the right position, and I think uh, he's kind of being like the point guard for his team. We know they always kind of lack that, but I think he's kind of really been the reason for their their turnaround and everything like that. Um, All right, KB. One way you can gauge who coach of the year is is how how good of a team are you when your star player go down? Right, the Memphis Grizzlies are twenty and two. Last night, they won a game when there was no Ja, no Desmond Bain, no Jaron Jackson Jr., no Steven Adams, and no Tyus Jones. That is five of their top six rotational players. They didn't just win a game. They beat the best team in basketball, a team that's about to win 65 games just lost, and they were healthy. Mikael Bridges and my mentors were crying emojis because he's so disappointed they lost that game. Coach of the year is that. How can how much can you can you improve a total team's win? If you go back and look at our videos when we were ranking teams or, or thinking about the standings, all of us knew that the Memphis Grizzlies were a playoff team. They were a playoff team last year. Mm -hmm. I think the most we had them as was like the six seed. We were all wrong. This team has clinched the number two seed over a Steph Curry, Draymond Green, comeback Klay Thompson team. They've clinched the second best record in the in the hardest conference. That is wild, and John Moran has missed 22 games. He has a way to get the best out of his players. Sati no. Aldama? He had, Wife, 50, he had 15 last night. <laughs> My rebuttal is that, yeah, he's winning games with those players, but he's going to need to win games when his star player is there. And that, I've seen them. <laughs> I actually, I ain't got no fucking rebuttal, bro. I ain't, bro, I, I did ass ain't got no rebuttal. I, coming into this shit, coming into this shit, 
I did ask since like, is he the fucking Monty Williams or Taylor Jenkins that's been a fucking rookie of the year? Okay, I did ask, don't got no rebuttal for this. So that was a good ass rebuttal. I didn't put Monty because he's the easy case. Yeah. Yeah. Them two is like, Right there. Taylor Jenkins, that that shit where he got his players winning without Jai is just you can't but beat you that. But you were supposed to hang your hat on the turnaround. Yeah, yeah. they started off twenty three and twenty four. Yeah, no, no team in history around. has turned Man, around like this. Crazy turnaround. That's, that's some crazy. Yeah, there were some arguments you could have made, but it's hard. Taylor Jenkins was like the the easier. Yeah. The easier pick he had for the sure. Easier cases, but yeah, he made definitely. That's an email though. He got to win the games with his star player though. Yeah. That was a wild ass. <laughs> yeah, he played games without. <laughs> he got Yo, hey, shit, them, he them gotta boys, win and win Ja there. Them boys lost to the Lakers when they had Ja playing. Yeah. Yeah. If you know what happened. Shout out to our sponsor, baby. All right. Shout out to the production guy today. Oh my too. god. I got stuff knocking over. <laughs> this is. <laughs> I gotta get used to the new. Set. This is Mike. This is Mike new. Uh, being first time in a new studio, so yeah. please be patient with my boy. He knocking things over. He I got to get used to it. I got to get used to it. He mics. almost knocked down the whole table. <laughs> All right, relax now. <laughs> he trying to go a little too far. You need far. help with your mic? Uh, no, I think I'm good. Look how you, look how you it's got to talk. A little, yeah, it's a little tall. Right. like talking up into it. Got to, uh, hold them entertained. Oh, no, yeah. <laughs> Fix it for me a little bit. All right, man. How y'all doing, man? Hello. Let me see. Let me get some shout outs. Same, same stuff for the Lakers offense and a lot of teams out there. It's just, it's that's why that's what made the Warriors so good because as much talent they had, they still had their offense where it was just consistent running. And that's how, you know, somehow, somehow like some guy like Harrison Barnes ends up with a, a 20, even though you have Steph and Clay going off. Or you even, you have a guy like uh, Sean Livingston is getting buckets, even though you have these type of stars. So it was just like allow everybody else to get theirs easy. Do you want, you want, do you want to take some time out and really get that mic to where you want it to be? Because Anwar just texts and say, talk closer to the mic. Talk closer. <laughs> You're going to have to mess with the arm. There you go. Mess with the arm. There you go. Um, no, I, I mean, I agree. I, I definitely think it's easy when you have that type of talent offensively. But, again, we're talking about a guy, your quote, <laughs> and Steve Nash, who is a, is a point guard who was a two-time MVP who was predicated on being the engine of a system. And he even came before coaching the Nets. He was, was a part of the Warrior staff for a little bit. So, it's just yeah, it's just disappointing to me. And, uh, like I said, on Twitch last night, I, I, I was on there on my stream, and we went into – because I my, my, the reason I even got into – what the Nets was doing was because <laughs> you good? Yeah, I was damn near about to take this shit off. Oh, oh man. Um <laughs> I wanna know what what should I expect from Ben Simmons? Because I agree with you, Derek. Yeah. As a guy who's been a Ben Simmons fan, I've defended Ben Simmons as much as I could. To a certain point, it got to a point where I could defend hard. him. It's hard. I've been trying to defend him too. Yeah. Um, so I'm I am i am beginning to ask myself, even in not defending him, but just as a guy who liked Ben Simmons' game at a point in time, what do I expect or couldn't I expect from Ben Simmons? Because I found myself starting to get disappointed. Because like you said, this is a guy who even when he was averaging 17, 15 points, we were like, get more aggressive so yep. you can be a 20-point scorer. Yep. Now – we're at a point where we're just trying to get double digits. <laughs> like he's averaging less than Draymond. Dude. Yeah, it's like he's like a light skinned Draymond now. Like, and it's kind of crazy because like even like he's still trying to even find his footing defensively. Um, he he has some solid possessions here and there, but I've, I've been Simmons that we knew he was like locking up niggas come in and then he probably gonna have an off night. He's the type of dude that he held Damian Lillard to ha- after halftime like. He had 27 and a half. Dame ended the game like 35. Like, that's the type of defense yes. Ben Simmons can play. Um, and it's just, I'm just ready for him to just get back to, like, Pete Bro, I'm ben struggling Simmons. over here with this, so I'm going like this. It's okay. Well, next time, I don't worry. Let be. me know if I sound okay. But, yeah. I agree with a lot of shit that y'all said. But the thing about me, what is different is, I don't give a fuck about you being three. Because you're three. I'm with KB. You're three because the rest of the crop ain't really that good, if we being honest, compared to who you are. <laughs> you shouldn't be satisfied with being better than Julius Randle. That's not an accomplishment for Anthony Davis. Like KB said, this should be a question where, oh, I have Giannis at one because he won the title. Or I have Kevin Durant at one, but boy, is Anthony Davis coming. He's fresh off of MVP season. Man, if the Lakers were more healthy, he would have had a second ring. That should be the conversation. I'm f- I'm cool with injuries, having a down year. Everybody can have it. But this year, 
for Anthony Davis standards, not for the rest of the pack, because Pascal Siakam's, who else is on this list? J John Collins, Tobias, they're not nowhere near Anthony Davis, never have been, never will be, so we're not even going to compare them to him to be like he's accomplished some shit because he's third above Tobias Harris. Get the fuck out of here. We're comparing Anthony Davis to where he should be, and last year was fucking atrocious. The lowest amount of games he's ever fucking played at 36. Career lows in field goal percentage, free throw percentage, rebounds, blocks. Uh, it's the, the lowest points he scores since his sophomore season. The lowest three-point percentage since he started taking them. Not comparison to when he was like taking 0 0.2 when he shot low. No, when he really started shooting threes, lowest in that percentage. Lowest in defensive win shares, lowest in win shares in general. That's probably due because he only played he only, 36 he, yeah, games. He was, I, I already know that. I don't need you to tell me. I'm, I'm saying it. To, that, that was not a good year. That was not a good year. Especially in the playoffs. And his standards. Was not and impressive. To his standards. Bro, and, 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 and the and playoffs, the he playoff. got hurt. And then, he got hurt in the playoffs, bro. He, he had what he games. The game one is we, when we, everybody we, was I, like, bro, he was, was DeAndre Ayton shitted on him in that game we one. We understand. The next like, two games, he gave his ass 35 and you're, 10. You're the then he got hurt. You're the reason why, why, why guys are like that. Cause nah, because you're, you're he's talking like the man literally was out there just doing nothing. He got hurt. That's fine. That That's what he said. That's what he said. Again, you talk so about. So do you want to say something back to him for no, that shit? I'm, I'm seeing Anthony Davis in the playoffs go every other game where he has a good game, then he takes a night off. I'll let y'all go back. Like he, he does this thing where sometimes he just has, he can't be consistently dominant, which he can be every night. He's damn near one of the best players on the court every night, and sometimes it just seems like only, only he's thing out I would there. say about that is he's only had one bad playoff series, and that's when he got injured. He had been like third in points per game in all of the playoffs in his career. He's yeah. always been an amazing playoff player. But last year, he was not great. And that was partially because his numbers don't look great because he had the shitty game, but he did come back, played amazing, and then got injured. So the shitty game plus the amazing game, you put them together, now it looked like an average series. Yeah. When in reality, he did get injured. But I just want to say he, he averaged 30 points in the playoffs <laughs> for his entire Bro, career, basically. Literally, he had a bad game. People was on his ass. Man gave thir two literally back-to-back 35-point -back 30 yeah. double-double games. Oh, that that wasn't no. part of my shit. No, no, yeah, I was just talking. Just, I was just talking good. about that series because yeah, it, it be, it be feeling like my, my my thing is is the 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 problem is is some of the shit you said earlier that you you meet you made to me were like excuses and that's not even yesterday. It's like the, he came in off a championship run out of shape. It literally what he the literally what, bro what? he they had the shortest off season and it was a freaking short and regular season. Like what do you mean? What what do you, what do you mean? What I mean? He had a shortened off season of a championship. He didn't have Mike, no time to get Mike, back into you know what he was who else doing. He was you tired know, as you hell. You know who else had that? Who? Everybody. The fucking league, <laughs> bro. They what, the Heat and the Lakers literally had the the, more, the shortest off season. I mean, bro. Yeah, he, he is he's right. They had the shortest off season no in their history. No no shit. But but that, does that mean that everybody should come in and, and and be this poor of themselves? I'm only comparing Anthony Davis to Anthony Davis. Right, and nobody's saying that he didn't have a bad year. But you act like the man ever sick. Because, he ain't do because, shit. He I, ain't do no, no defense. Who said that? Who said that? But that's how you're know. literally that, 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 I, It didn't have to I, come I directly out your mouth. But. I can tell you what I'm saying because it's right in okay. front of me. I said in comparison to fucking Anthony Davis. Right. Did that anybody is disagree that he didn't have the best You year? just said that I said he's playing like shit average of six points per game. Who said that? <laughs> he, bro, he said that's how I'm talking. The way you're talking about Anthony Davis, yeah. the excuses, I'm talking about like, I think our legitimate excuses why he didn't have you the know best year. You're like, oh, that shit is excuses. Party. Since we talking about excuses, you know what he told me? I said, hey. I want to see, out of curiosity, all the guys out rebounding Anthony Davis. And then I'm like, you know what? These are other bigs. Yeah. But I saw so Josh Hart out rebounding Anthony Davis. <laughs> you know what Mike's? You know what Mike's reply with me is to when I said that? Are you what? ready? What? Josh Hart should be out rebounding him. What? No can you way. Tell, can you tell no him what way. I said after that shit? No, no. I literally said, okay, that shit was dumb to say. But literally, like, that fucking rebound. <laughs> you know why shit, he bro? said that? You know why he said it was dumb to say? Why? Because I was on his ass. <laughs> he, didn't, he didn't say it. He didn't say He didn't say No, because I was he fucking say, joking hold around. Up, hold I up. said, what is Josh Hart out there to do? He, he, his he ass said, out there to what? He didn't say. fucking ball. He going out there to hustle. Hey, listen, Derek. I was there. So I'm going to play the middleman here. They were having a real debate. Mike was on some goofy shit, but he did come around and say I was fucking around. Oh, he was on some goofy. Okay, he was on All some right. goofy. Shit. I literally, I literally said, I said, okay. what about the other shit? Though? <laughs> I, I, hey, for a motherfucker who be in a party on some goofy shit, I know goofy shit. No, he I was, mean like he no, was when going I say, hard. No, when I say goofy shit, shit, I mean like he was dumb. Not, oh, okay. Oh, oh, but oh, and oh, I literally said, I literally did come around and admit that he was wrong. He did, but I didn't say he didn't. 
All I'm saying is, I don't want you in your mind to think he said that and say, you know what? No, no, I'm tripping. Yeah. He said that because I stayed on his ass. Like, bro, are you serious? <laughs> you are gonna, okay. It's okay to, to give criticism to somebody on your favorite team. He, he, Anthony Davis won't know. He's not going to unfollow you on Instagram. No, the reason I didn't I'm know saying anything is because, bro, I, watch Anthony Davis. I'm not, oh, he need to go get 16 fucking rebounds. No, the man just need to be fucking aggressive, not passive. That That's what I'm saying right there. No, nobody's saying he has to. That, that was the other part. He, why he got to lead the league? Nobody said he got to lead the league. Well, how many rebounds he get? What do you want him why, to get there? What is the appropriate he, amount of rebounds? So it's, you don't even got to talk about his rebounds because I guess that should matter the, to me. The appropriate amount of what I'm saying is Josh Hart should, should not out rebound him. That's, that's the appropriate Josh amount. Hart comes off the bench. And, and what I'm saying <laughs> also to grave into your brain because you don't understand uh, for some reason what I'm saying. And all of this is in comparison to Anthony Davis. Is Anthony Davis great to you? Bro, Anthony, is Anthony is not Davis gonna be, great to you. Yes. Then why why is this? Because he was hurt. He was freaking hurt. Okay. He is playing off a all right, all right, all right, all right. Bro, he's playing uh, out of shape. He's two? settling. He's trying to make who's sure they're going two? to the fucking playoffs. I, I can't it wasn't about no regular man. season, bro. Why would he go hard as hell on the regular season after so a fresh off the Remember this when you're critical on anybody else. Remember this when you no. critical on anybody else. I'm telling you, man, it's reasons this for shit. This motherfucker acts like, like he can't say anything think, negative about think, a Laker. Okay, anything. Derek, Derek, we've been we've been listening. But Pascal this whole time. Siakam was still on your list. Get the fuck out of here, man. We've been listening. I think both of y'all are seeing right things, right? There was a lot of fatigue coming off Anthony Davis in the championship, and one thing he did learn from LeBron is that we don't have to fucking go 100 percent when he gets to the regular season. That being said. Everything Pierre said right now with these statistics is true. He's only comparing AD to Anthony Davis in this case. And one thing we've seen from Anthony Davis is he could be that motherfucker. A lot of us predicted when we think about early stages of Anthony Davis' career for him to be a player to win MVPs, for him to be a player to win defensive player of the years. How many times has he legitimately been in conversation for defensive player of the year in his career? Every time. Literally every year. Yep. Except for maybe like his you rookie see- year. No, 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 no. He's, <laughs> he's- Yeah. Go talk there. Yeah. Go talk, yeah. Go talk, my nigga. It's go talk. Go talk. Go talk. Go talk, my nigga. That's go talk. Go talk. Go talk. Go talk, my nigga. It's go talk. Go talk. Go talk. Go talk, my nigga. It's go talk.